We are continuing to have conversations encouraging awareness and understanding this Pride Month. Joining me here in Studio 61 is Stephanie Trapka, the project manager from Hartford HealthCare. And tomorrow, Hartford HealthCare at the Hartford campus, there's going to be a conference on building gender literacy. Thanks yes. so much for being with us. Yes, yeah, so happy to be here. All right, so let's talk about what the goals of the conference are. Yeah, so some of the main goals, we're hosting this conference. It's actually the third annual conference that the right. Center for Gender Health is hosting. So we're trying to um, review the literature surrounding family support in LGBTQ youth. We also want to examine the barriers to communication from the young person's perspective, as well as give providers um, a takeaway, a way to incorporate gender affirming care into their practice. And for folks who aren't familiar, how would you explain what gender literacy is? I guess it's just being comfortable working with the transgender non-binary population and kind of knowing the right words and how to interact in the best, most supportive and affirming way. And then gender affirming care. So it's a supportive form of health care. It can arrange for medical services, surgical services, mental health, and other kind of non-medical services. And what are some of the challenges that folks are finding? So, I mean, access to care has always been a challenge, so mm -hmm. that's why the Center for Gender Health, it's a two-year-old initiative, is taking off. I mean, our numbers are growing by the minute. So I think accessing care is probably the biggest barrier, mm -hmm. especially, say, like, with the southern states kind of people are coming up to Connecticut trying to access care and talk a little bit more about all of the ways that uh, the center is able to support folks and yeah. all the resources that are available there are so many resources so we have endocrinologists we have psychiatrists a surgical team it's really a one-stop shop I like mm -hmm. to call it a multidisciplinary clinic um, of different providers who are just experts in providing transgender care to individuals and it's really important to have that in the community as yeah. sort of like a central sort of location for folks yeah. to go. Yeah, we are finding people are coming from all over the state mm -hmm. just trying to access care. So it's centrally located, which is great, but you know, the hope is to expand. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit more about the conference. Do people need to register? What yep. are the times? So registration like is still open. Mm -hmm. It's virtual and in person. We're doing kind of a hybrid, so you could register either way. Mm -hmm. um, it's tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. We're going to do a breakfast from 8 to 8.30, and then the conference will kick off about 8.30. And, yeah, you can still register on Hartford HealthCare's continuing education website. And some of the speakers? Yes, we actually have a wonderful keynote speaker. Her name's Mary Collins. She's a professor at Connecticut State University, or Central Connecticut State University, and she's actually the author of a book, um, At the Broken Places, A Mother and Trans Son Pick Up the Pieces. So we're really excited mm -hmm. for her. And we're also doing a panel discussion. So it's going to be folks with lived experience talking about their family dynamics and how they have impacted their social emotional well-being. Mm -hmm. And just a great way to meet and talk with people, yeah. professionals, other people in the community. Yeah, it's a networking event too at the end of the day, you know, meeting yeah. people and connecting and it's a really great opportunity. That is really great. And again, you don't have to register, right? No, you do have to register. You do have to register. Yep, you would have to register. Now, is it possible for folks if they don't have time to just, to just uh, you know, show up? We do prefer people to register just ahead of time. I mean, if mm -hmm. you go to the uh, Harvard Healthcare Continuing Education website, it's really easy. There's a tiered um, registration. Um, payment structure so okay. people can just easily register and they'll be ready to go the morning of. And if people are busy and they can't make tomorrow, what's the best way to also take advantage of the resources and, and just speak to a lot of people that they yeah. need to? So our website is a great resource, Center for Gender Health through Hartford HealthCare, and it has phone numbers and email addresses for people they could reach out to to get resources and ask any questions they might have. Oh, that is so great. Yeah. It's great that this is the third year. Third year, yeah. And just all the resources that are available is so critical. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're really happy to be doing this yeah. work. Well, we're great that you, grateful that you were able to come and talk yeah, to us. Yeah, thank you so much. Tell us more about it. Stephanie, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. This was Appreciate great. Appreciate it. Yeah.